general relativity step by step. Last time I was talking about constructing a coordinate system. Uh, there's one that I constructed and one my friend and his spaceship constructed, and they're moving relative to each other, so they're closing, they're getting closer together. And I was making the observation that physics should look the same to both of us. Or at least we can assume that, or at least that seems to be a, an experimental observation, which I'm happy to run with as a mathematical uh, axiom. Um, it's a little bit cumbersome to draw this kind of cubical system here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, suppress, I'm going to suppress, I'm going to talk about time and x, and I'm going to suppress y and z. So I'm going to draw a diagram for what's happening in my little world as time going along here and x going along there. Now, if I just use SI units, if I use SI, so I've got meters, meters, and seconds, that's t equals 1, and that's x equals 1 meter. Um, and I want to draw where, there's, where a photon goes, where, where, where does light go? Uh, well, in one second, it's travelled, well, what's the speed of light in SI? 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. It's travelled a huge, a huge distance. So if I draw my photon, my photon moves at this very, very shallow angle here. So that's a light ray. Light ray, which moves along here. Um, and, and that obscures the symmetry that I want to bring out between time and space. So this is no good. So what I do is I'm going to choose units so that the speed of light equals 1. So if my length equals 1 meter, which is perfectly sensible to choose, then my time unit is going to be how long or how long it takes, how long does light take? travel one meter and that's just going to be my unit of time so my unit of time is going to be one over three times ten to the eight seconds which is a tiny 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 unit of time by terrestrial standards very long length of time for some processes of a guess so now when I draw time and distance here my photon travels at 45 degrees because I've chosen my time unit so that one unit of time is the time taken for light to travel one unit of distance. I, I don't need to choose meters and seconds. I can choose fathoms as my unit of length and fortnights as my unit of time. But that's even crazier because that's, that's, that's kind of even weirder. I'm just going to choose, I'm going to modify my unit of time so that uh, the speed of light equals one. I could also modify my unit of length. I could take time, as in seconds, and my unit of length could be light seconds. Like light years, but light seconds. So that equals 3 times 10 to the 8 meters, which is a long distance. So if I wanted to stick with seconds, perfectly reasonable, then my unit of distance will be very, very large, and so I would preserve this nice 45 degree line. Sometimes I'll talk about x and ct. Sometimes I'll put in the speed of light explicitly. I might want to do an expansion in terms of powers of c. Sometimes I'll put in the, uh, uh, I'll work in si units and put in, put in c explicitly. So sometimes I'll include C explicitly. This is complicated and difficult, and frankly, the books don't do very well. Um, I've been looking at my, my textbooks, and they all describe this rather badly. I think I think my advice would be just draw your diagram and make sure that your your light rays travel at forty five degrees, and if they don't. If your light rays look like this and they're going too too, uh, too flat, or for that matter, if they're if they if they're the wrong way around, if they if they're too steep, well, you say to yourself, well, that's crazy. I want a nice symmetry between time and space because I want to bring out this space uh, time uh, concept, uh, and I've chosen inappropriate units. 
So make sure that you choose your units so the speed of light comes out, or, or light appears to travel at a 45 degree slope. Um, and so sometimes that's not possible, and sometimes I'll uh, put the speed of light in C explicitly. Okay, stop.